What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua, Alexander Usyk. I was told to Counter Punch this a while ago. I'm just getting to it, so forgive me. Um, and it was a controversy over the time clock, as we know, which I countered. However, we don't know where it came from or why it was stopped early, okay? A lot of people say 10 seconds. A lot of people say six seconds. A lot of people say it was a discrepancy with the digital time clock on the match room, which, you know, I don't know how often that happens. But we're going to go over it and look at it together to see what we see, okay? So here we are. Um, we're looking at the... Okay, um, and here we go. Let's time it here. He's getting hit. Notice where the circle is. Okay. He waves the towel. And then the bell rings. And we know it was more time on the clock. We did it together in real time uh, the night that Anthony Joshua was defeated by Alexander Usyk. And that was the team or corner of Team Joshua. And I think what that was, a lot of people said, did he throw in the towel? No, he did not throw in the towel. Okay, you have to look at it. I watched it five or six times. What that was, it was an indicator to whoever rung the bell to stop that fight early. OK, not to call the fight like Joshua didn't because it was the 12th round. It would have made no sense for him to throw in the towel. He did nothing came into the ring. But we did see the towels twirl. And then right when it twirled, that was the indication um, that I guess the bell person was looking for. What does that mean? That means that fight was stopped early. If it's two seconds, six seconds, whatever seconds, it was stopped early. It shouldn't have been stopped early. Um, it didn't really matter. Alexander Usyk had let off of him. And we know that Alexander Usyk did not plan on knocking out Anthony Joshua or did not want to. That wasn't his objective. Not saying that wouldn't have happened if he would have kept swinging. But even you seen he swung about 12 to 15 times unanswered. OK, to Anthony Joshua and Anthony Joshua was getting hit maybe on half of those punches that Alexander Usyk was swinging at him. So I think at the end of the day, Alexander Usyk could have pressed the issue and he could have stormed in. But Anthony Joshua was still moving his head. OK, there wasn't any uh, case of it stopping it. Now, it would have been an early stoppage if Anthony Josh, if they would have called the fight. That's the question you ask yourself. Was he getting hit? Yes, he was getting hit. I've seen worse. You know what I mean? So it wasn't that bad. However, something was in sync and something was already set in play for that fight to stop in case Anthony Joshua uh, got hurt, which he was hurt in the 12th round. Hurt, faded, you know, exhausted, I think defeated. I think everything. When he sat down on that stool and you seen his face and he wanted water and he wanted that towel over his head, a wet towel over his head, he was getting the business by Usyk, okay? Now, the question you ask yourself, this is the question, not if it was 10 seconds. What if it was 30? That would have been very controversial. You know, they got away with it because they had, they shaved, shaved, shaved off a little time at the end of the 12th, but that doesn't make it right, okay? On a stickler end, 12 rounds is 12 rounds, not 11 rounds and 56 seconds or seven seconds. No, 12, you know, 12 rounds that goes three full minutes each round, okay? This is for mandatory unification, okay? This is not a 10 round or an eight round or a discrepancy. And we know it's not a discrepancy now or a time off when you see someone wave the towel and then you immediately hear a ding, ding, ding because they knew and they, weren't, they really weren't sure if Anthony Joshua, how hurt he was. Yes, he would have survived a round, but... He was getting the business, okay? Since he was getting the business, they took it amongst themselves like, look, stop that shit. We don't know what Usyk's going to do in the next four or five seconds. I think they played it. But the thing is, how were they able to have that type of power to, for someone to stop it early? 
See, that's that type of control that, that concerns me about the sport that I love that I hate so much. Okay, because that shouldn't have been. Anthony Joshua should have got ample time to recover, to do whatever. So should Alexander Usyk. If he decided those next three to five seconds that he had extra that they stole from him, decide to commence welling on Anthony Joshua, they, by God, they should have done that. And that is not right. I don't think that's cool. Um, but that indication is something that you have to pay attention to. Okay. That's just too convenient. There's no way you can convince me that that man waving that towel like that didn't indicate that man to ring that bell early. That you can't do that now. We've seen that. Okay. See, let me tell you guys something. The same way I went at Deontay Wilder for those 28 seconds that they gave him in the Luis Ortiz one fight is the same. It's the same discipline. Is it longer? Hell yeah, it's longer. But it's the same ballpark. It's the same concept. You cannot do that in a professional fight, especially a championship one. You shouldn't do that in any fight just for the sake of a fighter. If Anthony Joshua would have fell to the hands of Alexander Usyk, he should have fell. It ain't like he didn't fall before. It ain't like he ain't took a beating or a, or a loss before. So what difference does it make now? I know what it was. It was the thing is, hey, if the judges went to favor AJ, let's cut this before AJ takes any more punishment to affect the way these judges look at this bout. But it didn't matter anyway. Usyk won by unanimous decision. So it is what it is. And in him, of course, again, he didn't want to see Anthony Joshua fall anyway. So he kind of backed off from his assault and that, that, that one-way ass whooping at the end of the 12th round that he was giving Anthony Joshua. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this footage that came out of or maybe a day ago. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.